Welcome to ProCAD's isometric tutorials. Watch the entire video or use the on-screen table of contents to skip to a specific topic. Module 1, Creating a Drawing, covers the following topics. Drawing Manager, Toolbox, Borders, and Basic Settings. Let's begin. These tutorials were created using English units. All ProCAD software products support both English and metric units. Our first topic is the Drawing Manager. The Drawing Manager dialog box appears when the isometric software is opened. If the dialog box does not appear, simply click the Drawing Manager in the isometric toolbox, and the dialog box should appear. The Drawing Manager allows us to create files, to delete files, to copy files. First, we select the standard we would like to work in. For this tutorial, we'll use the Twin Lakes project. Click in the Drawing area, and then click on the New button or right-click and select New. Enter a file name. Once the file is created, we can open the file by double-clicking it, or we can do some system management tools such as copy or rename or delete. We'll open this file at any time during the drawing session. We can access the drawing manager simply by clicking it. We can create more files, we can delete files and rename files. We can also access the drawing files through our standards manager and see the files that exist. We can go in and create new files or delete or copy files as required. Let's take a closer look at the isometric toolbox. The toolbox contains the drawing manager as well as all of the tabs for the software. The main settings tab allows us to set the main size, branch size, the pipe spec, and other features. Also some of the basic toggles like valve stems, as well as our isoplane settings. Under the equipment tab, we see our horizontal vessel, horizontal vessel in full view, vertical vessel, vertical vessel in full view. Under the miscellaneous tab, we see things like the centerline symbol, the north arrow, Flow arrows, small and large, revision clouds, grade symbols, pipe insulation. Under the line types tab, we see our pipe routing line, our border line, and some basic lines like dashed lines, center lines, and hidden lines. The auto route feature allows us to enable and disable the auto route, as well as see the current position and undo the last item. Under the flange tab, all of our basic flanges are shown from well neck flange to the flange complete with gasket and bolts, to a flange set, to pipe nozzles, API flanges. Under the gasket and bolts, we see the gasket bolt or the gasket and bolts, as well as the gasket tick marks. Under the pipe tab, we see the pipe symbol, we see the pipe nipple symbol, as well as the auto elbow. We see the pipe ends pipe end symbol, and some miscellaneous pipe settings. Under the valves tab, we see all the common valves, as well as some of the autocomplete sets. Under our fittings, we see our basic fittings from elbows, reducers, to tees, to some of our basic olets like weldolets, threadolets, and sockolets. Under the miscellaneous fittings, we see some of the smaller fittings like couplings, unions, caps, and plugs. Under pipe supports, we see things like base supports, pipe hangers, U-bolts. Under the structural steel, basic tools for replacing wide flanges, C-channels, or angle iron. Under the text style tab, we see all the different isometric formats for placing text. Under the bill of materials tab, we see the bill of material generator, as well as removing the bill of material, some special items, Changing pipe planks. Under utilities, we see our border for inserting the border. The dimensioning tools, basic dimensioning to offset dimensioning to rolling offsets, as well as line number tags, valve tags, and equipment tags. Under the change tab, we have the ability to change some of our features within the software, the most important being the dynamic attribute edit. Our next topic is placing the border. Select the utility tab and then the border icon. The drawing size dialog appears. Select the appropriate drawing border size. By default, is the B size 11 by 17. 
Click OK. The title border sheet appears, and the Edit Attribute dialog opens, allowing you to enter information about the drawing, including the title, the drawn by, the date. Notice there is a Next button, which allows you to see more information to be added to the border, such as the drawing number, the sheet number, and the revision. Click OK to accept and enter the attributes. At any time during the drawing session, you can double click the attribute to allow for changes. Borders can be customized to suit project or client needs. In the Standards Manager, we can set the border settings, the limits, the borders, as well as the file locations for the borders. The last topic in Module 1 is basic setting. Before we draw, we must set the main size, branch size, pipe spec, and the isometric plane. To do this, we go to the Settings tab and we set the main size, the branch size, and our pipe spec. We can also set our isoplanes and selecting the appropriate setting. An easier method of doing this is in the lower left corner where it shows our active settings. Clicking on the icon will change the isometric plane. Selecting the spec will give the available specs. Clicking on the main size lists all the size available. Picking the branch size shows a branch size listing as well as a line number. Set the line number to an appropriate value. If the line number doesn't exist, we can create it within the drawing by clicking the Create New Line Number icon and entering a line number. We can also set these values in our Standards Manager. Things like the spec, we can toggle on which spec we would like to see within that project. And if we click on the Lines tab, we see the available lines within that standard. New lines can be created renamed or deleted within the Standards Manager. This concludes the topics covered in Module 1. Please review Module 1 or select the next module.